All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Most of the people out here are great people. There's a lot of nice people, law-abiding, hard-working, middle-class people, and they're just doing the best they can. But you got your 5% out here that are causing the most of the problems. And those are the 5% I'm always dealing with. And they're usually the ones who are committing crimes against their friends. I mean, so today's victim is tomorrow's suspect a lot of times because there's a lot of retribution and retaliation type crimes. An officer's got a stolen moped over in uh, some apartments over off Greenwood Avenue. Uh, he said he was chasing it. We're going to see if we can go ahead and back him up. suspect on the moped back in behind and back toward uh, Scott at this time. Coming right at you, coming right at you.
was chasing. Me too. Crowd control. Yeah. Crowd control, please. When you said that he was running north through the alley, I knew the alley just ran east and west, so I come out there on spot and he come right out. North from Greenwood, uh, the apartments there. Right, came went through. Right. And you know, it was only this wide, so I couldn't quite get my car in. I, I know. I went everywhere else. That's though. why I knew when he said he's going through the back of Howe Garden, like he can't get through there, so that's why I come out on Scott and he pulled out right yep, in front right. of me. That's what he did. He was coming out of uh, Greenwood and then turned north there at the yeah, four-way. He went. He pulled right in front of me. I saw him coming. I said, that's it right there. What he, what he did when he got there, he, he drove it down to the bottom, and I stopped, and I was trying to get out to see because I thought he was going to ride on back around and cut back on the street, yeah. and that's why I said he was standing there. I'm like, what is he doing? You know, well, it was mom. He was in the house playing on the CD player. He come out. They bought that from a guy. Are you asking me or telling me something? I'm asking. I want to know what's okay. happening because okay. he just came out the then house. Then ask me what you want to know. Okay. What's going on? Okay. We got a report that that's a stolen moped and that he was running around Lane Garden Apartments. We pull him behind him. I chase him for at least five minutes and he's refusing to stop trying to ditch us. So we got him for felony evading arrest. Okay. All I know is he was over there doing that. I don't know what he was Lane doing five Garden. minutes. I don't know what he was doing five minutes before that. Stop. Yes, sir. You got him under arrest? Yeah, yeah he's under arrest. Transport. Okay. Get me on there as a witness. Since I chased him most of the way. Not all of it, but thanks, buddy, for picking up my slack. Oh, I always can count on you to take care of the light work. <laughs> change. People like to make fun of my accent, but uh, it's all in good fun. The uh, citizens down here are very friendly. The community itself is growing very rapidly. We have a pro football team here now, and uh, that's my main reason why I become a police officer. Just a variety of things to do and a variety of calls and just a lot of different people down here. 197. He's supposed to be a male white with brown hair, green shirt, and a black skirt, exposing himself to passing cars. That'll be him. We're going to pull up on this call here. Got a report of a male white here. Had a knife and was waving at a passing motorist. And he's right there. Turn around. You got a knife on you? No? Oh, yeah. You got a report that you were out here with a knife in your hand, flashing yourself and showing a knife and passing motorists. You don't know anything about that? What are you wearing a skirt for? It's a Scottish kilt. Scottish kilt? Are you Scottish? Yeah, I'm Scottish. What do you got in here? Wine. You don't know anything about what I'm talking about? Sir? No? Well, whose stuff is this here? Yours? Would this be your knife? Yeah. I bought it downtown. So do you know anything what I'm talking about? Yes, I asked when I bought it. I said it's illegal. I said yeah. Have you been out here? Have you been out here? Exposing yourself or no? I'm not, not here. It's hurting anybody. I'm on vacation. So we're just trying to uh, get you're, along with everybody and go anyway. home. You're on vacation? Well, I got a motel room at Barbersboro Road. That's how I get there. Where are you from? South Carolina. South Carolina. What are you doing here in Nashville? Singing and music. Trying to sing. Trying to sing? Put that cup down. Do you have any identification on you? No. Actually, wearing a kill. California. You said you live in South Carolina? Well, that's where I'm from. I went to California and came back to Nashville. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. So, are you, where are you living right now? All right. Motel. No. You told me you were from South Carolina. I know, but I live in Nashville now. Mm -hmm. You said he bought it downtown somewhere. Well, these guys said he was out there acting cool. Oh, did he? Yeah. So, how come those guys said you were out there acting like... Jumping around. I mean, we got a call that you were out in the middle of the road, flashing the knife around, exposing yourself. Exposing yourself? Exposing yourself? Pulling up your skirt? No, sir. Never did. 
Simple. Did you pull the knife out on anybody? No, sir. You never flashed it at anybody? It's been sitting in that bag the whole time? No, sir. So they were lying is what you're saying? Uh, dart board. You were throwing it at the board? Yes, and, and what are you doing here in Nashville? Singing. Singing? I'm a country music singer. What songs you sing? Well, my first song is I got a rock in my pocket. My second song is uh, You Can Sing Away the Blues. And my third song is uh, Going Home to Tennessee. I got a rock in my pocket. How's that go? You know three songs? No, so you can sing Way to Blues. How's that one go? Has you ever had the blues? Well, I got some mighty good news. You can sing away. If you've lost your one and only, or you lost your only one, just sing a little song. It won't be long, and the blues will go away. Those are the, those are the verses that you know? That's it. You haven't been flashing anybody? No, sir. You sure? Yeah. What do you got underneath the skirt? I don't know if you want to know the... Do you have anything on or just your I skirt? Got under it. What do you got under it? You know what I got under it. Oh, you mean underpants and stuff? Yeah, do you have any underpants no, on? No, no, no. You just have... There's nothing. Just a skirt? Yes. Yeah. Would it be possible that you were bending over to pick up your knife or something and motorists might have seen something as you were bending over? Could that be possible? Maybe that happened? I could have been bending over to go Now think about what you're doing out here on the streets in front of everybody. Don't, don't have us come back out here, all right? We're going to keep this today and not take you to jail. How about that? Bye, y'all. Thank you. We appreciate you being so cooperative. You, you, you can put your... To guess. Yeah, you're bending over. Maybe somebody saw you doing that. Yeah. That's probably what it was. Thought you were flashing them. Your girlfriend left. Maybe that's why she was standing behind you just now. You got to be careful when you're wearing a skirt every time you bend over, all right? You're supposed to, like, bend your knees. It's a lady like that. When you're wearing a skirt, you got to There bend. you go. There you go. That's the way of doing it. No, you can't have the liquor. That your board? You got any more songs you want to sing? Okay, I gotta, I gotta practice. All right, well, you go home and practice, uh, and we'll see you on the TV pretty soon. Uh, okay. Not a video in the, in, the, in the jailhouse. No, no, not there. We'll see you on CMT. Oh, uh, CMT. With Shania Twain. Uh. Okay? Bye, y'all. Come to you. Have a good day. I originally came down here to do what I can to try to stop drugs, and I've had people come up to me and say, you got me in a program, and it made a difference. This car is just pulled off from a drug house, and it looks like they've made a, buy. They've made a traffic violation now, so I'm going to try to stop them. 45. These guys are obviously trying to buy, so I'm going to find out what their problem is. shifting or something, you was jerking around that you moving that wheel pretty hard. No, I didn't know which way we was going. Step out here and talk to me for a minute. I don't know about a cigarette. Y'all just stay there. Yes. Step on over here for me for a minute. What were you doing? What do you do? Come on now. Don't play me. I've been out here for a while. I just I thought he was going that way, and he said no, so I just, I didn't mean it. No, when you pulled over in front of the crack house, what were you doing? Don't play me. 
I've been here for a long time. I made a lot of stops there. What crack house? The crack house that you pulled over in front of, and either they waved you on or you didn't get a chance to buy or something. No, he said he knew the guy there. I don't, I don't know. He said he knew some guy there. Whose truck is this? It's yours. You got the registration for it? Yes, Step over there and get it for me. check in here real quick. I don't want to get him out quite yet because he's got a valid license. So I'm going to take a look in this cab because these guys are acting kind of nervous. Hey guys, mm -hmm. is there going to be anything inside this truck or on y'all that maybe shouldn't be in here that with a little bit of honesty I need to know about now? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. Just hold still there for me, guys. Mm -hmm. to the other side, both of y'all. If everything turns up being all right, y'all gonna be walking away from this, no problems, okay? I just go to Mason's house, you can verify that. What are you, a professional drug user or something? Goodness, I've never seen so much stuff. Look at this. He's got a whole bunch of crack pipes, razor, one crack pipe, two crack pipes, three crack pipes, four crack pipes, razor blades, screens, cocaine straw, ends to hold the crack, shovers, <laughs> it's an antenna. They break off antennas off older cars and turn them into crack pipes. How long you been smoking crack? What? What? How long you been smoking crack? I smoke weed. You just smoke weed? You don't smoke and crack? I drink. You don't smoke crack? Uh, I drink and I smoke weed. Oh, what do you think all that stuff is? Well, what do you do? What do you do with that stuff then? Whatever they do with the stuff. I guess. I don't know. You don't smoke crack with that stuff? I'm an alcoholic, sir. You're an alcoholic, but I'm you don't alcoholic. smoke crack with that stuff? Uh, you don't. Then I'm what do you do alcoholic. with it? What, that stuff? Yeah. You do whatever you want to do with it. I don't know. I don't do nothing with it. You don't do nothing with it? I don't do nothing with it. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> stand up for a minute, man. You got any more on you? I ain't got nothing on me. Turn around. Turn around. Put them behind your back. Man, nah, behind your back. I can see, see the scar on the soap. See, this is yeah. far as I can bend my arm so far. See, I'm no trouble. Man. You know, hey, okay, put them in front of you then. Yeah, put them in front of you. Okay, put them in front of you then. Okay. That's as far back as you can bend your hands, right? Well, that's your arm. Yeah. That's what happened to it? Oh, I was born with a birth defect when I was back in ninth grade and stuff. I had an experimental operation. Mm hmm. Seat on that stone wall for me, okay? Don't run. How do you know this guy over here? You know, this guy I used to work with. Mm -hmm. He knows this guy Twan. Right. And Twan knew him. And I was just doing him a favor. Well, let me tell you something. You don't need to be picking up people like this, because I mean, look at this. I, know. I mean, if I'd have known by God, he wouldn't have been in my truck. Normally, when I arrest people, if I arrest them for drugs, they got one pipe on them. But I've never seen this guy's got up to five to six oh pipes. That's, uh -huh. not, that's not yours? No. Where'd it come from? I have no other idea. Did it just magically appear? I have no other idea where that come from. Okay. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you. If I can find out who you are, you might get a oh, state citation. I don't know. No. If I can confirm who you are, you might get a state citation. But you are getting a state citation okay. for drug paraphernalia. There you go. I will keep my mouth shut. Go on over and okay. get your stuff. The rest of this is mine. Be sure to show up or they're going to take a warrant out. You're getting off kind of free here. Y'all's on a crack street in front of a crack house. You had a crack user and I've with more pipes than I've ever seen in my life on one person. 
Here's your license. I'm sorry. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Hold still for a minute. Here's your license. Everything turned out all right for y'all. It's turning out a little unfortunate for him. But, I mean, you're going to have to watch who you pick up and watch what kind of streets you're driving on. All right? And I'm done with you. Somebody that's got that many crack pipes either has a really big problem or he's a really big pack rat. <laughs> I've never seen so much drug paraphernalia in my life on one person. 132 in Bush, I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint, 132 in Bush, coverage code 3. What you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. Or what you gonna do? Or what you gonna do when they come for you? Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We do a lot of a lot of teamwork down here. Uh, to catch the dope dealers, you gotta use teamwork. Uh, they're younger, they're faster than you. We always try to get three to four officers where we, uh, if we're not doing, if we don't have a lot of calls, we do a lot of proactive police work. Uh, we'll hit the target areas and, um, and try to put an impact in it. It's hard to do, but uh, you know, with the right teamwork, we can get it done. I'm going up ahead and check out this convenience store. It's a known area for uh, narcotic trafficking. We're going to check it out. We've got to report suspicious people in the parking lot, possibly uh, selling drugs. So. We're going to go check it out. What's the location of where you are? In the 2400 block of Mechanic, uh, almost 25th Street. What's your name? Take your hands out of your hand. First name? Fred. You ready to shine? Yeah, that's my cousin. How old are you, Fred? 21. Huh? 21. Where you live at? 27 K. 27 K? Oh. Sammy! Hold on. 27th and J. We chased the guy in, he ran from us, and he ran straight to the apartment. 
Yeah. It's got plenty of weed in here. They're sitting here making it now. One, two, six. Do we have somebody else running? I don't think we have a visual on anybody else, Lieutenant. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. I don't got nothing on me. Why'd you run? Because, man, you messing with me for nothing, sir. Just checking to make sure we got all the officers accounted for. Okay. Go ahead and sit back down on the butt. Sit on your butt. Come on. Come on this way. Come on this way. Come on. Come on. Take the baby through there. Whose house is this? This is her mom's house. Where's your mom at? Okay, let's let's bring her in and ask her if we can look around. We already got a consent from her. We already got a consent? What they do is an example here, they cut it out, empty the uh, tobacco out and fill it up with marijuana. It's not mine, sir. Whose marijuana is that? Thing? It's not mine, sir. Well, you want to tell me why you ran from us? Because y'all was fit to beat me up. No, all we did was stop and ask your name. You're the one took off running. Right? Y'all was fit to beat me up, sir. I ran for my life. I feel my life. Fear of your life. That's what you ran from the police? Yes, sir. All right. See, this right here is where they've been making marijuana cigars. This is the tobacco they have been emptying out of regular cigars and filling up with marijuana. So they've been making, uh, he's done quite a bit of business tonight, uh, selling. And the worst part, he puts all his evidence right out front for everybody in the world to see. I just want to file on well, somebody, because I mean, I got little kids I'm okay. trying to look out for. Man, I, and I cannot take this. They are driving me crazy. Damn, y'all don't care about nothing or nobody. But you know what? I want all of y'all away from me. I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack trying to worry about the grown-ups and the kids. This is wrong. Damn, it's wrong. How old are you? How old are you? Man, I'm That's just fine. Sick of this. You give her Damn, notice not to come back here, and if she comes back here, oh, you want to file on her? I, I, I do. Yes, I ask them to stay out of here. Huh? Damn. When I left here, get your here, stuff and get out here and don't come back. Man, when I left here early, I told get her. Get your stuff. Close, I'm like, you I'm come back here again, you'll be arrested, school. okay? I've been gone all day. Cigar. Did you see the trash can out front of your house? No, I They've didn't. They've been making this for some... Now it's full side, of... I've been gone all day, and I just came in, and I left again. They were smoking. If I hit her, would y'all do something to me? Yeah, all damn day that. long, I cannot work and try to take care of my family without having <laughs> like this happen. Now, if I got to get out, what me and my little kids going? You don't give a damn. Damn. <laughs> I wish I had a gun. I'd kill all of these damn dope dealers and users because I'm fed up with this. They ruin people's lives. You have to be careful about who you get to watch your kids next time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. All I can say is, it's your house. You told her to stay out, so and I don't want she comes I don't back want in, and you have the right to follow them. Because, like I say, when I left, I told her don't have anybody in here. Mm -hmm. And that girl was not in here, and that boy damn sure wasn't in here. When we so, you know what? House. I'm going to beat your ass. I'm, this is not a dope house. I don't indulge in dope. I ha dope has ruined my whole family. So, you know, anything that I can do to stop it, I'm going to try to. But they're going to have to just, I need to just, damn. Well, you just took the first step, okay? So... You told them, you gave them notice not to come back here. 